Atenção, esse canal não é oficial, é apenas um canal de um fã que trabalha para legendar todos os episódios dessa obra magnífica. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. It's just those bones, they don't fit into the skin anymore. So for this episode, we received an email from a woman named Candace, a 53 year old mother who believes there is something horribly wrong with her son. Candace says her son doesn't talk to her anymore and it seems like he cannot stop growing to the point where he can barely fit in his clothes. She says he's been pulling out his hair and won't let her see his face. She sent us this video for proof. Tommy. I brought you your dinner. Do you want it, sweetie? No! So tonight we've decided to head out to her house and see what's happening with her son when she's not watching him. Let's go. So what do you think's going on with this lady's son? I really don't understand the problem. Okay, so from what she said in the email, her son's been growing super fast for some reason and acting really creepy towards her. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just hitting a growth spurt or something? I don't think this lady would contact us if he was just having a normal growth spurt. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Let's just get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? Okay, fine. Wait, right here, right here. This is it, bro. Okay, I'll pull over. Something seems really wrong here, dude. The windows are all dark. Dude, I don't know if I want to meet these people. This could just be like a waste of time. Well, at the very least, let's just go in and meet Candace and try to talk to her son, okay? Okay. All right, let's uh, knock on her door. Hi, Candace, right? Yeah. Hi, uh, you emailed us about your son? We told you we were coming tonight? Okay. Uh, we can come in, right? Okay. Okay. Dude, it seems like she didn't know we were coming. Bro, she's probably going through a lot. Candace, is your son home right now? Uh, okay, uh, let's just sit down and talk with you, okay? Come on, let's sit down and talk. Okay, Candace, thank you for uh, letting us sit down with you. Uh, can you give us more details about what's going on with your son? My son, it's my fault. I should have done something sooner. Uh, so you told us in the email you sent us that, you know, he's been acting really strange. Can you go into that more? He's, he's still my boy. He, he just doesn't talk to me anymore. I mean, I can see you're very concerned about him, which is, you know, a good thing. But when did all this start happening with him? After Michael passed. Michael was your husband? Tommy ran into the woods. He was gone for about three days. I almost called the police, but eventually one night, he came back into his room through his window. The window? Why didn't he come through the front door? I don't know. He just completely shut down. And now he wears this strange mask. It's just like he's not like Tommy anymore. Well, you mentioned that his father passed away. Are you sure this isn't like some type of grieving? No, this isn't grieving. It's physical too. What do you mean by that? It's just those bones, they don't fit into the skin anymore. I love my son. He's my whole world, but this isn't my Tommy. Okay, Candace, uh, is it okay if Chester and I uh, go talk to Tommy now? Uh, yeah, but he's been pulling out his hair lately. Okay, that's fine. Just don't say anything. I think he's self-conscious of it. Okay, where's uh, his room? 
friends with your mom um she invited me here to talk to you to make sure you're okay are you feeling all right your mom's uh, been worried about the way you've been acting Tommy do you think you could turn around so we could talk face to face Okay, Tommy, uh, if you want to talk more, Chester and I will be here all night. Dude, I gotta talk to you. Okay, come on, go over here. Dude, did you see his face? What was that? I, I don't know, I think that's his mask. Why is he wearing a mask? I have no idea. It, it could be some sort of grieving thing after his dad passed. How could that be a grieving thing? Dude, I don't know. I mean, we came here to set up cameras. So why don't we just start setting them up? Dude, I'm afraid to see what this guy even does at night. Bro, let's just set up the cameras. Okay. That's good. Come on. Okay, put a camera up here. Okay, come on. Okay, so Tommy just went to the bathroom. Let's go put a camera in his room. Oh, dude. It smells so bad in here. Okay, I gotta hide this thing. Yo, hey, what's this? Dude, there's like some sort of like meat or something here. Dude, don't don't mess with that. Ah! Dude, what's the problem? Dude, it just moved! Huh? The meat just moved, bro! What are you talking about? Let's just go, I set the camera. Okay. Okay, let's put the camera in Candace's room. Hi, uh, Candace, can we put a camera in your room? Okay, that's good. Okay, Candace, so uh, we set up cameras all over your house, and we put one in Tommy's room, too? I'm not sure he's gonna like that. Uh, why? Um, well, he doesn't know that we put one in there. At least, I hope not. I just don't want to make him angry. I just want my old Tommy back. Okay, Candace, Chester and I are gonna do our best, but uh, we need to see how your son acts at night first. Candace, listen, it's all right, okay? Chester and I are gonna do the best we can. We just need to watch the footage from these cameras so we know what's going on with him, okay? We'll all watch the footage together in the morning. Okay. Chester and I are gonna be sleeping in your guest room tonight. Okay. Okay. You ready? Let's go to sleep. Okay. Okay. Good night. Bro, when we were talking to Tommy, I got a really bad feeling. Did you see the way that he looked at us? Dude, I know it was creepy, but we really don't know what he might be going through. I just feel like he doesn't want us in this house. Bro, I don't feel safe sleeping here. Yeah, and neither does Candace, and that's her own son. That's why we're here. Dude, let's just go to sleep, okay? We'll watch the footage in the morning. <sighs> okay.
Okay, so it's about 7 a.m. right now. We just woke up. Dude, did you hear anything last night? No, I slept like a baby. Why? I don't know. Maybe I had a weird dream. Okay, well, can you go wake up Candace? I'll go set up the footage so we can watch it. All right, I'll go wake her up. Okay. Candace, it's time to wake up. I'm coming in. Uh, hello? Candace. Are, are you okay? What? Tommy? No, it's Chester. Uh, we need to get up. It's, it's morning. Oh my god. My legs, Tommy. Parker! Parker! What's the problem? Dude! Candace, what, what's wrong? Her legs aren't working. Candace, and Candace, are you there's okay? There's something wrong with her, dude. There's this black mark on her back. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, let's, let's get you up, okay? Okay. Bro, what's wrong with her? Okay, so let's look at this footage from last night. Okay, so it looks like Tommy wasn't sleeping much at all. He's very active at night. I can see that. Oh my god! He's coming into my room! Oh my god, what's he doing to you? I don't know. What's wrong with my son? Is that why you can't walk? That's your spine. I don't know what's going on. Candace, look what he did to you. This isn't normal. We need to call the police. No, no, no. But Candace. See, they won't understand Tommy. Okay, well, if you don't want to call the police, Chester and I need to go talk to him right now. No, he rests at this time. Yo, we gotta talk now, bro. Okay, let's go talk. Bro, what the hell did we just watch? Why doesn't she want to call the police? Dude, I don't know. That was horrifying. It looked like he was sucking her spinal fluid out. Like a mosquito or something. Did you see the way he was walking? I think he grew more last night. We gotta get out of here. Well, now it's more clear than ever that this lady needs her help. We definitely need to stay here one more night. Bro, come on! We're staying. We don't have a choice. Okay. Okay, Candace, so uh, we saw some pretty awful things last night. I really just don't want him to come in here again tonight. I mean, I don't know what to do here. Are you sure we can't just call the police? No, no. They won't understand them. <laughs> okay, uh, well, listen. How about we put this chair here against your door handle in case he tries to get in again? There's no way he's going to be able to get through this. Okay. Okay, so we're all set now. If he tries to come in again, Chester and I are going to be right in the other room. Try to get some sleep, okay? We'll watch the footage in the morning. Okay, I just really love him. I just want him to be okay. <laughs> I understand that, but right now we need to worry about you too. Okay, try to get some sleep, all right? We'll talk in the morning. Okay, good night. Bro, you can't tell me you feel safe sleeping here tonight. What if he comes into our room? All right, look, obviously I'm not comfortable with this, 
but what are the other options? <laughs> we can leave! Dude, let's just record tonight to see what this guy's doing. It's definitely too unsafe to leave Candace alone. Alright, but the second I hear anything, I'm leaving. Okay, whatever. Let's just go to bed. Okay, whatever. Something's breaking, bro! Whoa, what do you think happened, bro? Come on. Do you hear that? Yeah, yeah, let's go! Let's go, we gotta call someone. Dude, he's gone. Bro, we need to call someone. 